my YouTube friends. Today I'm going to show you how to use the multi-camera setup in Zoom. This is really useful if you're teaching a class where the students need to see your hands, like maybe a piano teacher or something like that, or maybe they need to see some other view. So let's get to it. <laughs> If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Zoom has really taken over as the platform of choice for educators and business. Everyone is looking for ways to make their broadcast stand out and be more dynamic. Adding a second camera could be just the thing to help you, and it's really easy. First, you're gonna need two cameras connected to your machine, obviously. For me, I'm gonna use my DSLR connected with the cam link and a USB webcam. One camera's gonna be on me, and the other's gonna show the table right here. It's the perfect shot for showing an art project or if you're drawing out some sort of math problem or something. So we have our two cameras connected to the machine. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open Zoom, and I'm going to select New Meeting. And there you can see my main camera, that's my DSLR. We're gonna join with computer audio. Now if I go down here to the bottom left and I click this little up arrow on the camera button, I can see my cameras listed and I have this USB live camera, my new tech NDI video, which isn't really a camera, it's something I use to connect to OBS. And then I have my cam link. So I have two cameras here, USB live camera and cam link. And you can see if I select USB Live Camera, it's going to give us a view of my desk. So that if I was going to show my desk, I could show that. Now you could very easily just use this up arrow and switch the cameras whenever you wanted to, but I'm gonna show you a much easier solution and one that's gonna work a lot better for broadcasts as well. So let's select my cam link and now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click Share Screen. And I'm going to select Advanced and I'm gonna select content from second camera and click share. And now you can see it adds my desk view. But the beauty of using it this way is this is going to automatically maximize this shot on everyone's screen. And you can still see me up in the top right hand corner. So your picture's still gonna be there and people will be able to hear you talking, but you'll also have your desk view or whatever your second view happens to be. But this gets even better because now we've maximized this and we have us in the top right hand corner for all of our viewers, but you can easily switch back and forth between these two cameras. Up in the top left hand corner, there is a switch camera button. And if I click on that, it's going to switch from one camera to the next really easily. So now I can broadcast using two cameras I know that my second camera is going to be maximized on everyone's screen and people will still be able to see me in the top right hand corner. And if I want to do a segment where it's just me on screen, I can easily hit switch camera and go to that single main camera and talk to my audience. I mean, it really doesn't get any easier than this. If you want to be able to connect OBS to Zoom for a really dynamic broadcast, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.